So this is it. Domestic football across the continent may all be done and dusted in the major leagues. But now we have the ultimate spectacle to conclude the season. The earliest phase in qualifying started way back at the beginning of last summer. And now there are just two teams standing. A show not just for the capacity crowd here, but one for the whole world. The global audience, they say, some 300 million. Well, we are, of course, in Rotterdam at one of the most recognisable arenas in Europe, one that features extensively both at home and abroad for Feyenoord. It is, of course, the Coyp. So we're almost there, all one can see, a look of utter focus on the faces of all involved. You've been there, Jim Beglin. What will they be thinking as they wait for the whistle? Well, you're right, Peter, I have been in this position, and the message is usually something like, remember all the work, the hard work you've put in to get this far. So don't leave anything out there now. Do what you're good at. It's better than what they can offer. Stick to that, and you hope it'll be enough. As you can see, we've already started here. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy and tense. Going for goal! What a wonderful goal! What a start, and what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something, given his reputation, but... To do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it rather than even thinking about losing it. Steered forward. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. PK. And TT. PK. Nelson Semedo. TT hits one. <laughs> and Dyke puts it over to the other flank. He's looking to get there first. Liverpool have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Mohamed Salah. Now it's Roberto Firmino. PK pulls off an exemplary piece of defending. And here's Suarez. And he's there to clear it. Barcelona have it back and they can go again. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Yellow or red, it is red. 
Barcelona are down to ten men. So here comes the substitution. Griezmann tries to dink it in. Now it's Messi. He's left his man. Messi. And shoots! Firmino. Oh, good ball. And here's Mane. Over to the left. Gets away from his opponent. Now it's Mane. Mane is flagged offside. Pique. Jordi Alba. And it's Griezmann. Barcelona scored early, of course, and it's 1 0. Shot a goal! Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Brian Alden. Henderson. Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Deftly done. The defence can get it clear. Griezmann. Now short, he's gone for it! Oh, managed to get it away. Fabinho. Fabinho goes looking, looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Mohamed Salah. Defenders on the back foot. Decent looking ball. He gets past his man. And he's there to cut it out. Feinaldum. And it's Mane. Foot in. Griezmann. And here's Suarez, Messi, now it's Messi. Has a hit! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line, very impressive. And very well to intervene. Suarez really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Surely! Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. Here we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Barcelona have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half-time, but it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half-time. Barcelona, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0. Goes for goal! Great effort, beautifully taken. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in a final two, Peter, and it's a pity it didn't cause the net to bulge. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Firmino has been caught there, it's a foul. And it's Wijnaldum. 
loses his balance and loses the ball. Now it's Griezmann. Now it's Luis Suarez. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. And here's Griezmann. Griezmann with a delicate ball. Messi. Messi plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Looking to get within range. And that would have been some goal. Well, the run was really impressive. The finish was depressive. And expectation. Great leap! No, he didn't quite meet it right. They've been denied a chance to develop any rhythm in the passing department. He's in! That's a pop! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. And here's Vita. Tries a shot! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Barcelona really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. And once more they can't get through. Now it's Griezmann. Vidal. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Fabinho positions himself well and cuts it out. Gomez looking to hit the front line. Messi. And it's Luis Suarez. Luis Suarez! You get that clear. Oh, this looks promising. Got to make this count. It's got through to him. It's so And the writing was on the wall, it looked like this was going to happen, and it has. That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. In fact, and that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. There's a long ball. Here it comes. It's a brilliant interception. Griezmann drives it forward. Now it's Dembele. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Keita. Forward. What does he try from here? Oh, it's Dembele. Going through. Shoots! It's out for a goal kick. Liverpool making another change here. And it's Messi. Forward it goes. Jordi Alba plays it forward. Barcelona showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Pique tries to get it forward quickly. Dembele. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And the weighted pass. Good take, and he's had a look. Barcelona merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. 
Well played, he saw that coming. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. He's looked long this time. Oh, it's Dembele. He's got away. And the shot! Chance again? No. Liverpool did it back again. And it's Messi. Griezmann. Luis Suarez. Griezmann. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Luis Suarez! Oh, yes, it's there! Late in the day, this could well be it! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, was there ever any doubt? It made it look like he's done it over and over and over again, and he has. Barcelona take the lead. Now it's just a question of holding on. Just listen, Peter, you can hear the excitement levels around the stadium now. The feeling is very much job done. And that's it. Simply, the big day was their day. A day for them and their fans. A truly proud line in their history.